Hey everyone, it's uh, Pup Twigs here from Orlando, Florida, and joining me uh, from uh, really across the U.S. is uh, Pup Sparky from Seattle, Washington. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Good, good. So uh, I think you're my first Seattle pup that I've had on uh, Unleashed before, so this is awesome. Well, I should say I actually grew up down on the Gulf Coast, so it's like, yeah, but um, I didn't didn't discover being a pup to like living out here. <laughs> Awesome. Well, well, you know, let's just get started and stuff. Uh, I, I like to find out kind of the background of your name and also the background or significance of how you chose your uh, pupphood being looks like uh, black and white. I love the bent over ear and the pierced ear and, and everything. So give us a little background. Um, well, so... I think, you know, a little over a year ago, I really didn't know much about pups or anything. And I was um, out at um, one of the local shops, um, Doghouse Leather, and they had like the pup hoods. And I was really fascinated and intrigued um, by them. And um, over time, just kind of, you know, it probably took a couple of months for me to be like brave enough to try one on. <laughs> um, <laughs> And um, so then it was just like, it just, I don't know, no no real kind of story there. It just kind of seemed to fit for me. And um, I was trying to figure out kind of what my name would be. And um, with that, when I figured out kind of my name, then I figured it kind of like, oh, it's like, oh, this hood fits me. And this, you know, this, this persona kind of is like where I want to be. Mm -hmm. Um. I really liked the name Sparky because it's like a classic pup name, but I had never like met anyone that had that name um, or met anyone who had a dog that had that name. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was like, it's a classic pup name, but it still wasn't used very often. Um, now, with that being said, I did join the pup community and there are several Sparkies. Um, so <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, and, um, in fact, I think one of your podcasts that I listened to, it's like the first one I listened to, the guy was talking about his name. It's like, yeah, I didn't want something real common like Sparky. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> um, but um, but Sparky kind of fit with me and it still fits with me. And I have to say, it's like, yeah, well, there are other Sparkies and all. It's like every single one of them that I've met, I've absolutely loved. And so I'm like, yeah, I feel like this, this, this fits. This is me. And so it's like, you yeah. know. Um, initially it was like really cool. There was, that felt like it was really uh, uncommon, but I kind of like the fact that, you know, running into other Sparkies, it's, you know, it's sure. interesting. There's nothing wrong with it and everything, but you know, if, if the name fits, it fits. And so, yeah. so who cares if there's more Sparkies out there? <laughs> no, absolutely. And, um, and I also have kind of, um, I don't know, kind of a Husky mentality and kind of like, you know, I tend to be really very energetic and, and and very loud um and so um and so with like the husky kind of feel i was like oh black and white totally totally fits for me and that and that works and so but um but as you mentioned i have kind of like you know done a few things to my hood um you know i pierced my ear and i don't know if you can tell but my nose is all glittery yes and, i noticed um, that too in the tongue and i sewed a tongue in because i was like i wanted a tongue um so yeah. And the, the frisky type, um, the frisky style hoods don't come with a tongue. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was like, I can fix that. <laughs> so see, so you just made Sparky uh, kind of stand out from the other Sparkies. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been a, a in the pup community? Um, so since September of 2022. Okay. So, so a little over a year, a year and a couple of months, maybe you're close to it. Yeah. So, um, but I will okay, say sorry. it was like, oh no, I, I will say it's like, you know, I was really kind of fortunate and that, you know, I did meet some people kind of before then that were able to kind of help and answer questions and all. Okay. Um, and so, you know, it's, it been, while well, September is like my, I don't know, official birthday or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, it was like, it'd been kind of, you know, building towards that for for a few months okay good and and that's fine because uh you know some of us have a what we call a, a puppy born date and some of us don't 
Um, there's even a website dedicated to that where you can go in and print your own uh, puppy uh, birth certificate and, and stuff with your name and your breed and everything on it. Oh, I should look at that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's on a, a I'll have to see if I can find it and I can send it to you. Okay, cool. So out of the time that you have been a puppy, what has been the easiest part of it? And then what's been the most difficult part? Um, so I think, you know, probably the easiest part is, um, it's one of the things that's made kind of, I think, socializing a little bit easier. Um, mm -hmm. and just because, I don't know, I feel like, um, when, when I'm out and I'm doing stuff, it's like, you know, I always have to be on, but, um, the hood kind of gives me a chance to like necessarily, not necessarily be on. And it's like, you know what, if you just want to make, if you're just hanging out with your, with your pup friends and all, and you just want to make pup noises and you don't necessarily want to like have an in-depth conversation, it's like, that's totally cool and acceptable. And, you know, and no one thinks anything about it. And, and it's nice sometimes to not have to feel like you have to be on. Okay. Um, and so, but the other thing, the hardest thing for me, and it usually takes me a little bit, you know, even each day, it takes me some time to really get into pup headspace mm -hmm. um, because it is so hard for me to get out of my head. I, I overthink everything. Um, and, you know, and sometimes it's like, you know, I just got to get out of my own way here and, and, you know, and let myself go. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it's, you know, sometimes I struggle with, with, with that, with kind of just, you know, kind of letting myself just be a pup. <laughs> okay. Well, that's understandable. So if there's anything in the community that you could physically go in and change about it, what do you think you would want to change? Um, I don't know that I really have a lot that I would change. Um, I still feel very, um, very, very new, um, and still kind of learning a lot. Um, so the pub community here in, in, um, I won't say just Seattle. I mean, a lot of us are in Seattle, but it's really kind of, you know, um, the, um, the um washington state i guess because we have pups from like all over come and and hang out with us at our events mm -hmm. um it's really huge i mean there's like hundreds of us um and um but the thing is like it's um it's also a very inclusive group um you know it's not just pups um a lot of a lot of um a lot of a lot of people instead of referring to us as, um, you know, handlers and pups really refer to us as handlers and pets mm -hmm. um, because there are ponies and there are kitties and, you know, there, there are otters and um, bunnies and just, you know, all kinds of different. And it's very inclusive and there are a lot of, um, you know, and it's not just, it's not just gay men. It's also, you know, it's it's straight people and it's it's trans people and it's just you know and my feeling is that this is a relatively new development over the last few years and i don't know i just i, I wouldn't necessarily change anything but i just love seeing that that is growing and that it's becoming more inclusive like that and i just hope that that kind of continues to to be the way it is and that it gets even more so and that when people come no matter what they come with that they feel um included and welcome and i'm with you 100 percent on that because it just makes us better when there's so many different types of pups or what i call critters out there um we don't we don't have a lot of females in our groups here uh, but the one female that i've interviewed before that's on on my podcast is uh She's actually a straight female, and uh, her boyfriend came with her when we did the recording, which was awesome. Uh, but she's local here. But we, we've got a, a pony, we've got a cow, and we've got a dragon uh, that also attends. But oh, I, I haven't met a dragon before. That would be so fun. Yeah, we we need more of it and stuff. But yeah, it's it's pretty awesome and stuff. In fact, our get together, one of them we do two a month is tomorrow night. So I'm getting geared up for uh, for that tomorrow. 
So what advice would you give someone that's just now wanting to get into putt play? Um, well, I, I don't know that this would necessarily be specific to pups, but maybe like when you're, when you're joining any group or anything, um, it's, you know, I think that we all, and, you know, it's so easy when you're joining a group to, to not feel included or to feel, to feel slighted if something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think we all just really have to work on trying to assume good intent um, from the people around us and from ourselves. And that when someone makes a misstep, it's like, you know, give, give them some grace and some forgiveness and, and especially yourself, because you're, you're going to, you're going to say something or do something the wrong, it's not going to be right. And it's like, you know, give, give yourself a little kindness there. Um, and, you know, but I think that if we walk in kind of assuming that everyone wants to do the best they can, that, you know, it creates a better community and, you know, and you can be more understanding because we are, I mean, none of us are perfect. Um, and the only other, and the other thing that I would say is like, you know, um, don't don't let being afraid stop you from doing something um it's you know i i think i i look at i look at my life in general and it's like the things that i was most afraid of are the things that have had you know some of the largest impacts in my life that mm -hmm. i've been so proud of yes. and so it's like you kind of have to just keep keep going and and you know and and remember that you know you can do it <laughs> Right. Oh, great, great. I kind of combine two questions here because I think they kind of go together. I'd like to know what brings you the most joy out of pup play, but also do you have a specific toy that you also like to play with during pup play? Um, so I guess, you know, um, the most joy would be um, just the, the other pups that I get to hang out with, mm -hmm. um, it is, it has been so incredible. Um, so many of them are, so I'm, I'm in my fifties. Um, I'm kind of late to the, to the pup scene. Um, but, um, and so many of them are like, you know, in their, in their twenties and all, and it's been so great kind of getting to know them and their, I don't know, there's so many more things that they're like so much more open about and honest about that I'm like, I wish we had been taught that. Um, and so it's, you know, it's just really spending time with them. And it's, I don't know, there, there are so many of them that I spend time with. It's like we go to the pup events and all, but then we also do so many other things that are not, are not pup events, just, just hanging out. And so mm -hmm. um, it's, it's been a, it's a great community, I think. And so. And I feel like, you know, I am learning so much about or just so much about life in general from from them. Oh, yeah, I'm with you. And and 50 is not old because I'm I'm 59 and turn 60 next month. And I was completely welcomed into this younger pack of, uh, of pups here in Orlando, which is awesome. So, yeah. Um. I don't know that I, you asked me about toys. I don't know that I, I have a lot of, I mean, I have some toys. I mean, it's like, sometimes I like being, um, you know, I like being on leash or, or, or having, or having another pup on, on the lead. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and I have some bones and stuff that I play with. Um, but I, I, I don't know that I'm, I don't know that I'm real big in toys. Um, kind of the thing that is most, I don't know that I love the most is actually my, my collar. Mm -hmm. Um, and I I wear it everywhere, um, all the time, work everything, um, and it's just I don't know. It's it's actually I bought it at like Petco for like ten dollars or something. Um, no, I wanted something. <laughs> well, I wanted something that I I didn't want a leather one because I wanted something that I didn't have to take off to shower or or, or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll try and see if you can see this. Um, so I got this 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 tag, right? Um, which is no big deal. But then a friend of mine, I will say the pup community is so incredibly talented and creative. Yes. Uh, a friend of mine um 
then custom the back custom did the back of it for me with my oh name my on gosh, it. I see yeah. it, yeah. And so then did like a husky um symbol on it. Wow. And um and I just love it. It's like it's like it's like my favorite thing. Um I wear it every single day. Yeah, that that is awesome. And and I wish I'd have brought it in here. I just got it in the mail yesterday, but I interviewed a pup out of uh California. Her name is uh, Tanya. And um she takes little rubber duckies and she customizes them all. So the one that I got has a harness on it and a pup hood on it. It is just absolutely adorable. Uh, and I, I wish I'd have thought to bring it in here and have it on here. Cause it's going to be on one of these uh, podcasts with me. I promise. <laughs> okay. I, will, I, I, I love, um, so I, I drive a Jeep and so there's like a whole duck thing with Jeeps. Yes, there and is. So, and so I, um, I, I would love to like get like pup ducks. That would be so cool to put on other people's jeans. <laughs> so if you, um, I'll, I'll try to remember to send you her information, but it's Tanya made is what it's called. She okay. has a website. She has all these things. She makes everything and oh, she's wow. raising money for her, her service animal who is blind uh, oh for a surgery that that he needs and i thought oh i'm gonna order if not one maybe two and i may go back and order more because they are the one she sent me i just absolutely love it so i'll get you that information so maybe you can take a look at what she offers there yeah that'd be great so so what is being a pup done for your mental health okay so i've i've I, i've heard you ask this question um before and I so I just have to say I find it really interesting um that that is kind of the the focus um or that you know that's one of the questions that you that you address each time uh -huh. um because I think there are so many things about pups that you could talk about but I don't think that that's one of those things that you know certainly when I was thinking about and exploring this was not something that occurred to me at all right um and so um it's it's a interesting thing that i i don't think that people outside the um pup community even like think is a consider as a thing if you will right. um and so um my own mental health um well <laughs> um I don't know. I, I feel like my mental health can um, is is questionable at times. How's that? <laughs> um, but I think that being a pup has really kind of pushed me in a lot of different ways, from kind of like you know social things to you know to sexual exploration and acceptance, mm -hmm. and um, and you know and just and and learning to just be playful and just like enjoy this moment. Yes. Um, it was like the first mosh I went to, I, um, my husband, when I got home was asking me about it and how it went. And I was just like, well, um, when you have a pup hood on and you're down on all fours and you're chasing a squeaky toy, <laughs> it's really hard to take yourself seriously. Um, <laughs> and so I was like, it was so nice to just kind of let go go and just play yeah um and so i find that there are a lot of things about sparky that i really like and i really enjoy and that the pup community brings um i will say also i find it sometimes kind of frustrating um so because in a lot of ways i feel like sparky feels more genuine to me um mm -hmm. and i don't get to be sparky all the time yeah. um you know, sometimes I have to go out into the real world and use my government name and mm -hmm. do all those things. And 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 I I just you know, it's I, I wish they could be more more intertwined than they are. Yeah, I, I I hear you and stuff. So, is there anything you wish you had known before getting into the community and uh, pup life? Um, so I, I'm going to say no. Okay. Um, I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff that I, that I've learned and there's still a lot more that I have to learn. Um, but I feel like, you know, I, I knew what I needed to at that point to get started. 
Um, I will also say I was really, really fortunate. Um, I I met this um, I met this uh, this pig named Notch, um, and before when I was kind of exploring the pup stuff, and they were so incredible and just like answered all my questions and just talked to me and just spent so much time um, that you know I I just felt really comfortable and mm -hmm. and I was just like you know if this is the if this is the type of people that I'm going to get to spend time with, then yeah, let's do this. Um, and so, you know, so I, I think I was really fortunate in like the, the, the people that I met kind of, you know, building up to, to exploring the pub community. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. So now what kind of hobbies do you have there in Seattle? <sighs> um, well, I wish I could tell you that I have a lot of hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> um i you know i i used to i used to do a lot of stuff and you know i used to play so play like so much soccer and stuff all the time but not so much anymore um honestly you know life is kind of life kind of got crazy for me and um you know between kids and work and and all of these things and trying to you know build build these different things that i kind of stopped taking time for mm -hmm. myself um and the pup community has been really great because it's kind of forced me to do that and right now i mean for the last year it's like i've really been trying to just spend time with you know these these new friends and 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 new people that i meet and just to kind of you know enjoy that um I, I try and go out. I mean, this sounds this sounds ridiculous, but it's like I try and go out with my friends like five or six times a week at least, um, if not every day. Nice. Um, just because it, it's so nice. It's so nice to have that have that time separate yes. from the separate from everything else. And you know, I don't with 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 a a couple of exceptions, but with most of them, it's like I don't talk about my work and I don't talk about my family, and so it's just this time that is like separate from all that. That is just you know just me and them enjoying mm -hmm. each other, um, and so it's been you know it's been really it's been really nice. Um, you know, I'm fortunately you know my kids are old enough now that they can be left in the house alone, mm -hmm. um, and so it's you know, and so yeah, so I don't have a whole lot of hobbies right now, but you know. Hopefully, I'll start getting kind of back into that as I figure out some, you know, some balance here. Oh, sure, sure. Well, what about pets of your own? Do you have any? So, yes, I've always had dogs my entire life. Um, I, you know, and so I have two dogs right now. And I usually, my preference is to have um, have two dogs. I feel like, you know. I, I feel bad if I like leave, if I have one dog and I leave them home alone all day mm -hmm. by themselves. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and so, yeah, so I have two bio dogs right now and they're really sweet. They're, um, they're both rescue dogs. Um, so they're a little crazy neurotic, um, but, but that's okay. We, we, we all have our own neuroses, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, so I, I love hearing those kind of stories. So, so let's talk a little bit about events that's going on in your area that you uh, frequent or go to every now and then. Um, so we have like, we have regular, we are, so we, we have some events that are, you know, throughout the year. Um, we have some regular monthly events. Um, so in fact, like tonight, so the second Friday of each month is our social. And so it's called our, it's called a meet and sniff. Um, and it's a great chance to like, you know, just hang out, but also for like, you know, people who are curious about the pups and all to kind of, you know, a comfortable place just to go and, and meet and with like really low stress, low expectations. Um, there's a couple of bars and they rotate, um, hosting us each month. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and so, yeah, so we, we, we do that. So tonight will be our, tonight will be our meet and step. And um, there's a couple of actually I met a pup um, the other day that is visiting from Pensacola, and so I'm like, oh, cool! Oh, and so nice. it's like, um, and so I'm hoping that he'll be able to join us tonight as well. It's something oh, that's fun. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm. I was invited to go down to a, a pup event in uh, Galveston, 
Texas uh, in May. Oh, yeah. so me and my husband are going out there for their pup event in Galveston. So, oh, fun. Be and exciting. then, and then, oh, as I say, the other events. Um, so then, the Saturday after the meet and sniff is our mosh. And so Saturday afternoon, we have a we have a mosh at one of the um, bars. Basically, before they open, we get like the whole dance floor and stuff, and oh, that's um, very cool. Put down put down mats and stuff, and um, and play. And so that's always good. Um, we have, you know, our pub community. Um, so we, so we're we're a nonprofit, and we raise money. Mm -hmm. um, and so each year we um, vote on kind of what charity we're going to raise money for. And so this year it was um, it was Lambert House, which is a local group that um, helps provide support for um, LGBTQ plus. Um, uh, youth that mm -hmm. um, don't have support at home and some of them don't have a place to stay, stay because they've been thrown out and so they, they help provide those resources and all and so that was the group that we raised money for this year. Um, one of our events that we do each year is called Best in Show which was just last month I believe um, and so basically it's just it's just kind of like that it's like a it's like a, a puppy show and so the handlers and pups are out there and um, you know, do different things. And during the process, it we during the process we raise money. Um, one of the ways that we raise money is you can bribe the judges um, with dollars <laughs> um, to get someone to win. And so, um, but yeah, and so it's always it's always a, a fun time. And so we have several of those events during the year um, to help raise money for um, for these organizations. Well, that is really awesome. I love hearing those kind of stories. That's good. Well, sounds like you could just about do anything uh, pretty much several times a month if uh, if you wanted to uh, with events going on in your location. Yeah, there's there's always at least two a month, um, but definitely you know uh, periodically there are there there are a couple more that get thrown in there, which is um which is always you know it's always great, and um, we have you know pups that come down you know from you know that will come come down for like you know a couple hours north or. I uh, come up from a couple hours south and all, and so it's you know, it's it's nice that there's a I don't know there 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 are always different pups to meet and all, and it's sure. like I feel like I haven't met <laughs> I, I haven't met you know half of them yet. Um, so <laughs> well, we're to that point where if you could ask the next uh, guest I have on here a question, what would you want to know about them? Or um, ask them. So I don't, I don't know, know about them. I, I don't know. It's like, um, I guess I, I would, my question would be more like, um, you know, what was something that someone did to help you when you first joined the pup community? Okay. And, and it's like, and what can you do to kind of, kind of help welcome others? Um, you know, I, I, I feel like this is, you know, bringing other people in who are curious and and making them feel welcome and being able to be there and and help them and answer their questions and it's just it's just a tremendous thing and it's like I don't know what the pup communities are like um, elsewhere but it's like here it's such an incredible group of people yeah that it's like. I'm just like, oh, just wait. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I'll, and so I was like, let me help you. Let me help you feel comfortable here. Yeah. And so I think I think that's what we should. I think that's what we should all be doing and working on to help each other. And so it's like, you know, think about what someone did did to help you, and 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 how can you how can you help the next pup? Okay. Well, well, your question came from Pup Zai out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and he wanted to know, do you see yourself being a pup? as a long-term lifestyle? Um, yes. <laughs> um, Simple enough, yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I hope that, um, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm hoping that um, with work and stuff that I can um, retire in a few years. And so um, I'm kind of hoping after that, it's like, you know, this becomes a, bigger part of my life and yeah. and the rest of it is is lesser because there's yeah. you know there's so much there's so much joy there um and it's yeah 
And so I, I, I do see myself and I hope that it continues to grow and continues to be more than it is. Okay. Well, if other pups wanted to reach out to you, how, how could they reach you? Okay. So I only have like two things um, that I'm on. So I'm on um, Telegram. I don't know how, how much everyone uses that elsewhere. Um, that is the, the forum that we use here in the pup community. Okay. And so on Telegram, you can reach me at Sparky underscore dog. Okay. And then the other thing that I'm on is Instagram. Um, although I'm honestly not very active, but you know what, harass, <laughs> people can harass me and I'll be like, oh yes, I should post something. Um, but on, on Instagram, um, I'm at for the love of Sparky with no spaces there. <laughs> All right. Well, it was awesome getting to catch up and talk to you about, about Sparky uh, and everything. And I just want you to go out and enjoy tonight when you go out with your other pups. Let them know what you did. And if they want to do it, send them my way. Okay, I will. All right. Well, hey, I will talk to you again soon. All right. Thank you so much.